Oh, we shooting hogs, baby. <laughs> Lights out, piggy. There's one. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is about to be one insane day. You know, it's early in the morning. We got a lot of pew pews. Julius Garrett, what are we doing this morning? I think we're going to shoot some shit. Yeah. What kind of shit are we shooting? Oh, we shooting hogs, baby. We're hog hunting this morning, baby. This is the first hog hunt I've ever been on. And it's at my own property. The hogs have took over. They have ran the deer slap off. Now at both spots, we got hogs in there every morning and evening for the last week. So I think we're gonna kill three or four hogs this morning. Oh, absolutely. Guaranteed. Wow. And I'm talking about, it's gonna be a little bit of Like I'm letting it eat, baby. What was that again? Do that one more time. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Yeah, no, I'm letting it eat, baby. Okay. But it is 4.15 in the morning, and we got to roll, because uh, the bacon ain't going to kill itself. Oh, we got to get a move on, baby. We got to make it down to the deer club. But uh, let me show you guys what we're working with. Look at all these pigs, son. There's about seven coming into this stand right here, and uh, the other stand has two giants. The stand that we're putting Julius and Garrett into. They're gonna be dead pigs. They, I've literally, I've looked through the pictures for the last week, every day, every morning and evening, they are in both stands. So I think we're gonna kill four hogs this evening, this morning. Hey, you boys ready? Oh sure. yeah. No, Roll, baby. Alright guys, I hate to interrupt, but YouTube has been demonetizing like all of my videos for the past week. Ever since we started kind of bringing hunting back, YouTube has been against it, dude. So if you guys want to help support me, we got a lot of fire merch over on the website. First link in the description, brainprice.com. If you guys want to support these hunting videos and pick you up some merch along the way, now would be a great time to pick them up. We still got a lot of the common sizes like medium and large, but they're probably soon to sell out. So if you guys want some, go pick them up now, baby. But anyway, this is one kick-ass video, so let's just uh, roll back into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the clubhouse. I just want to go over briefly before all chaos breaks loose uh, what guns we're shooting. I'm going to be shooting one of my AR-15s. This thing, I built it uh, a while back, and I'm talking about one of the flattest shooting, sweetest shooting ARs around. So uh, my goal is to lay hogs out with it. I'm not just shooting one or two. I'm shooting it all up. Got 30 rounds in the mag. We're going to be shooting ballistic tips. Uh, Garrett. Garrett's gonna be using the SCAR. Oh, I'm shooting the SCAR, baby. The SCAR 17 Heavy, it's a 308. Oh, big round. Ah, uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna put a hurting on hogs. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. And then Julius is gonna be shooting the AK. We were gonna put him on a shotgun with buckshot, but at the end of the day, AK is a whole lot more fun. AK is a lot cooler. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, get these things in the Defender, finish loading up, and we're gonna head to the stands. So uh, pick you guys up whenever we're rolling up to the stands. <laughs> Miller, Julius, and Garrett off here in this box house. They're no doubt gonna kill these hogs. I am 100% certain in them, unless they mess something up. All right, you boys ready? Yeah, oh, yeah. I reckon. Y'all ready to kill y'all's first all, hogs? Hogs ain't leaving the area. Yes, sir, Where let's get going? after it. So y'all are going, I don't know what, you guys are going right up there, the box house is right there. Good luck, boys, I gotta get out here. Good, good, good luck. luck. Oh my god, there's like bird guts. Can you knock them spider whips down? Sunlight is about to come out. We gotta get in here and deal with bird guts and crow's heads or whatever and creepy crawlies, but we'll be fine. We just gotta get in here and get settled down. If they show up at that feeder, oh, it's game over. They're not leaving that feeder. Oh my god, it fucking stinks. <laughs> <laughs> We done dropped the boys off. We made the mile long trek to our spot, me and Christian. 
Uh, we're about to hop out, get the guns loaded, and then walk up in here, get all the camera equipment set up, and shoot some freaking hogs, man. This is about to be insane. I've always dreamed of killing a hog. Little did I know I'd be killing one on my own property. All right. Let's roll, baby. First time hunting with this rifle. We're gonna go ahead, start walking into the stand, get up in the tree, get everything set up, and uh, wait for some piggies, baby. It is about to be a sausage fest. Well, update, it smells like dog cock in here. Bro, get rid of that. What the f is that? It's all cobwebs. Look, look at that. That's mm. a dead crow. Mm. All right, I successfully made it. Yeah, there you go. In the stand. Be quiet, Joe. This is actually Christian's first time hunting, other than turkey hunting, but that's just hiking with a gun. So, uh, be very quiet, very still. Move. When you move, move slow. 10 more. So we made it up in a stand. We busted some pigs out of here. They were in here when we walked in. They ran off. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna come back. Hopefully they do. I don't know how skittish they are. So uh, let's just hope for the best and you know, see if they come back. It's that group we're after. Wish us luck. All right, so update. We've been here for about minutes maybe nothing yet no signs no no sounds or anything like that but the sun is just starting to come up over the near the horizon so we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer it should be a pretty good time and we're almost guaranteed at least two hogs so if we don't scare them off if we don't scare them off by being too loud i could still be asleep right now <laughs> we got a hog down here boys he snuck in here right under the stand while we we're waiting on daylight he's been feeding for about 20 minutes big old black hog I'll smoke his ass as soon as we get enough light to run the camera. Can you see him? He's right there. I was hoping to shoot all six, but we busted them all out. We got a straggler, though. This is an epic, man. I think the pigs are kind of stupid, though. That's my assumption so far. They ain't like a white tail. This pig about to be bacon, son. It's gonna be sausage. We gonna put some meat in the freezer. We gonna fill them with some legs. While we wait for this pig to move over to where we can shoot him, let's head on over to Carrots and Julius' stand and see what's happening there. Oh, I'm just like a squirrel eating corn. <laughs> what's, the, what's his name? Frank. Frank the squirrel. Mm -hmm. Come on, I need to get a picture of me at least. I'm trying to get a picture of the hog. Oh shit. Alright, we're about to shoot his ass here in a second. If he turns to the left, he's gonna get caught. out piggy there's one all right that that was loud oh he's down there flopping baby dude first hog ever this hog he comes walking in from over here when i first heard him i thought he was a damn deer i was like all right christian be still we got a doe or a buck coming in let's just see what it is and he stood behind us and kind of milled behind us for a while and then he walked right here and i was like huh and i peeked over the stand right here i'm like that's one black ass deer. <laughs> Bro, did you see me when I went to take a picture of the hog and my flash was on? <laughs> Bro, and that hog stayed put. I was like, damn, this is gonna be way too simple. <laughs> Here's the picture. As soon as the flash came on, I said, yeet. At least we had a successful hunt even after busting all those other pigs out of here this morning when we were walking in. Glad that loner came in. Garrett and Julius, we have not heard them shoot. I know they're about to shoot. Those hogs are gonna die. Before we came out here, I went over the cameras and man, every morning and evening they're coming in here extremely early and right at sunset so uh we try to get in the stand so early that they wouldn't be here bro if you look down there these hogs have tore this place apart i mean ran the deer slap out first time ever having hogs first hog kill ever all on video super sick man we're just gonna leave that hog down there for now and hope some more work in if the other hogs get sketched out by it ta -ta -ta -ta, it's, it's game over baby hey siri Call Garrett Porter. Calling um, Garrett Porter. Oh shit, hello. Oh, your speaker's on. Make this phone call real quick. See how they're doing. Let them know we shot one. And we'll sit down and relax. Hey. What? Y'all, have y'all seen any yet? No. No, they're coming. Be ready, those hogs are coming. As long as they don't hear you or smell you, they're coming. Uh, I got one dead under the feeder, but we're gonna stick it out in the stand, see if we can't get that big group to come back in. 
All right, sounds good. Text me when y'all shoot. See ya. They're gonna kill a hog. I really wonder how the f them crows died in here. Dude, I swear it was from all of these wasps in here. Them crows probably got like stuck in here and couldn't figure out a way to get out, and then wasps swarmed them. <laughs> and swallowed them. <laughs> Could have been. Hell, there's two of them on the ground. Yeah. Homeboy over here to the right. Feather. Yeah, homeboy over here to the right had was, bones coming out of it. Probably could have been a snake. Huh? I said it probably could have been a snake. Can't snakes climb, Julius? Nah, snakes don't climb. Yeah, they do. No. Nah. I've seen snakes on top of power lines. What? Going across power lines. Nah, see, let a let a motherfucking snake <laughs> crawl up in the sun, bitch. Garrett will get a case of the get gones rather fast. <laughs> I will leave everything, y'all, my phone, everything. Push it, you dive it out. Oh, dude, I am. I'm levitating out of this motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't walking. I ain't hollering. No, my soul gonna let my body. My heart gonna be pumping out of my feet. Mm. Head first. Oh. All of a sudden, it ain't my problem no more. <laughs> it's one of y'all's. Hey, squirrel. Here, hogs. Here, hogs. Here, hoggy, hoggy, hoggy. <laughs> peggy, peggy, peggy. We're over this now, aren't we? How come Braden was able to kill one? Well, we weren't. All right, boys, it looks like we're going to go ahead and uh, pack up and climb down and go check out this pig. It's about 8.30. Uh, we haven't heard or seen any more pigs or any deer or nothing. Dude, my first pig. I'm ready to check this sucker out. That hog man. It walked right through here. Literally. Holy crap, that's crazy. Bro, look at it. <laughs> How much? That's a freaking animal right there. Right. Flies have already gotten on it. He ain't got no tusks. He's got some corn in his mouth. No, oh, he's got little baby tusks. You can see all the corn that he was chewing up. <laughs> Dude, that pig's big now that I'm down here by him. He's a big boy. They're a lot bigger once you get down here by him, but you know, on the ground they look little, little short, stocky little suckers. Now I shot this joker on the other side of his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, right in the ear. Oh, wow. Good shot, dude. Yeah, no, it went right into his ear. Ow. That's where you want to shoot him. <laughs> right behind the ear or in the ear. It was legal shooting light, but the problem is, is with the red dot, kind of got that glow back on you and turned it even all the way down. It was kind of hard to get a good shot, but, you know, it was easy peasy. Holy cow, man. We got to get some pictures with him. Oh, 100%. Dude, my first hog. <laughs> that is crazy. Dude, what pig? Holy crap. Is he a beefy boy? He's been working Dude, out? I couldn't imagine trying to get an arrow to go through him right here. Is he just they got thick skin? They got what they call a shield. Oh, okay. Uh, so they get real thick. Yeah. And uh, that way these tusks that are in his mouth, they don't they don't puncture and, you know, kill each other oh. when they're fighting. But they still do kill each other fighting. All right, I guess let's go get the defender and get him in the bed, son. We got to go shoot the boys. Oh, man, this freaking defender, man. The AC. Give me some of that. <laughs> Seriously. Bro, it is hot. Very. We just walked up the mountain to get to the damn side by side. We got to get this pig in the back of the Defender. And we also got some trail cameras. So uh, let's go ahead, get this pig in the Defender, and I'll show you guys my new toys. Wink, wink. Wink. You can drag him? Shit, that's a heavy pig. <laughs> it's easier to pick him up than drag him. Maybe if I drag him forward. Why not? I got the Defender. I could have. got her. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Give me a sec. Why'd we lift the defender? <laughs> I don't know. Here you go. Thanks. This is gonna be a, hey look, no, I think what we need to do is pick them up on both yeah, sides. We got one, two, okay, three. Okay, Just okay. throw it. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there, son. He's up there. I'm so impressed by the shield. This ain't even a big, big hog. I mean, that sucker is hard as a rock. But, Moultrie, baby. I've been waiting on these cameras for a little while now, and I've been so excited. I got the new cell cams. Now, these are actually Moultrie, uh, I think they're Delta X series. I don't know. But, I have them linked, first link in the description. These cameras, I had them in my house for a couple days now, just testing them out. Uh, th they are cell cams and they're only a hundred dollars now You do have to pay for a plan yearly But you get a cell cam for a hundred dollars and the plan if you have multiple cameras 
it's pretty cheap definitely cheaper than all the other trail cameras that i've been looking at but what i want to use them for not only security at the main roads around the property definitely on the feeders as well because i hate coming down here every week to pull camera cards because my camera cards get filled up this way i can just see the pictures from home i mean it's an hour drive out here this is sick so you got an antenna right here plug an antenna up and i need to find a tree to stick this bad little boy on i definitely got some more testing to do before i can give you my whole review but i'm gonna be using these things all deer season and i'm sure you guys are gonna hear a lot about these cameras Moultrie's always been an amazing brand and uh, my first ever cell cams, dude. I still miss the flash cameras. I remember using the flash cameras. So this is new to me. I know a lot of you guys are like me and uh, one of the reasons you haven't upgraded to cell cams is because you think, oh, well, I got to go to you know Verizon or AT&T and set up, a, set up a line with them just to run each camera. But it's not like that. They literally give you an app. I ain't going to show you my code, but you scan this code and it connects to the camera. All you do is go ahead, pick your payment method. Camera's ready to roll. I mean, it literally takes, I set up six and maybe 30 minutes. It's super easy to do. I already know I'm gonna love these things, but, uh, and I already know I'm gonna talk about these a lot here in the future. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but yes, I'm putting a cell camera on this tree because if these pigs are back here tonight, I'm gonna be here tomorrow morning. And I'm gonna be here before the pigs. I'll be here at 4 a.m. If you wanna kill the pig, you gotta be the pig. If you wanna kill the pig, you gotta be the pig. This is like the local cookout for the piggies. They just hang out here, man. We're gonna go ahead, go pick up the boys. So uh, let's go see what they think about this hog. Let's see what they think. Boys, how was the hunt? That would've been better off seeing a goat in the middle of the fucking Pacific Ocean. We heard a few lambs. Drag my Definitely balls heard a lamb. I don't understand how y'all didn't shoot a hog. Go sit in that stand just for a 15 seconds. Bro, we, there was literally nothing. Oh, we, oh, we have to we just a ass oh. stand, but if the hogs are coming oh. in, they're coming in. We do have two dead things. There's two yeah. dead crows that have been in there for about 15 weeks. Well, I thought I heard a couple, like, chirp, whatever the f*** they do. What do they do? Oink. Yeah. <laughs> oink, oink, I, I oink. thought I heard one a oink we heard about, a I don't know, probably about 3 o'clock, but that At was all time? I heard. Was it early? Yeah, it was, like, they're probably right, in after, here. right they're after, probably, after sunrise. They probably were in here when we were dropping y'all off, and they spooked on down the hill, and they were just nervous to come back. Because we walked in on six or seven. No, the only thing we saw were squirrels and doves. Big oh my, yeah. that's a freaking unit. Yeah, look, <laughs> at, look at his little tusk. He's got a little inch and a half tusk. He's still got freaking Yeah, he's still corn got corns, bro. He was, nom, 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 he was munching, bro. Was he munching? Eating his little morning snack? Yeah, yeah. no, y'all could have been all three sleeping and been woke up to the sound of pigs eating. They loud. <laughs> wow. It's ridiculous. I shot him right in the damn ear on the other side. I actually might come hunt this stand this afternoon. Anyone else want to hunt this afternoon or y'all? Sick of it. Y'all nope. retired hunters? I'll hunt. Yeah, I've had enough of this shit. So these two dingle birds were literally chilling on their phone, opening up the flashlight, looking at themselves, making sure they weren't getting crawled on by ants. Bro, I literally got a spider on Garrett like that big. I was literally looking like at that, that little people. I was sitting in the, I was sitting in the chair like this, just yeah. staring. Yeah. The whole time. And, and I then see you like flashlight. You leaned back one time. Yeah. And you fell asleep one time. There used to be a dead buzzard in there. But that was like two years ago. No, these yeah, are two these fresh, fresh fucking crows. It's it's pretty grody inside there. Hazmat suit might be the move. Yeah. Seriously. Oxygen and a damn tank. oxygen tank. <laughs> exactly. The scuba tank. Fucking scuba tank. Yeah, for sure. Some Febreze. And you maybe some breathe. Lysol. Y'all sound like you guys had a rough Dude, time. Go in there. In there. No. Just go climb up I'm good. Go on, go. Oh my one. gosh. Dude. Dude. One, and this was the Dude, main get one. a shot of that. Those are in the stand. Yeah. Dude, this smells so bad. That's what I smell. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm genuinely sorry. That's what, I, that's what I smelled when I walked by. I feel so bad. All right, boys. We just finished taking some pictures. We got him on the front of the Defender here. Check this sucker out. He looks so much bigger when he's on that front bumper, dude. What a pig. We got to get this thing to the processor ASAP Rocky. And uh, we'll pick you guys back up at the house. We got some guns to shoot, baby. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the house. We dropped the hog off at the processor. He found somebody that wanted the meat, so that is just dandy. Now, we got some guns to shoot. I was expecting a big group of pigs to come in there and just lay into them, and I want to show you guys how I built this AR and why, because it is deadly, son. Now, we got the steel target set up over there. Let me go ahead and grab the uh, AR out of here, and let me explain that to you guys what this thing is real quick. So, First off, low recoil. You want a flat shooting gun. At least I want a lightweight flat shooting gun. What you want to do to build an AR like this is first, surefire muzzle brake helps keep the gun super flat, but you want to pair that with a titanium uh, adjustable gas block so you can run your gas way down. And uh, lightweight bolt carrier group, lightweight buffer spring. And dude, you tune this thing, I'm telling you guys, it is so smooth. And a good trigger also helps. But without further ado, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna dump this expensive ammo and get some FMJ in here. I came prepared with 30 rounds this morning and if we didn't bust that group of six out, 
dude, I'm telling you, I think I could kill three. Shoot one in the head, get very lucky on the second, roll his ass, and uh, then the third, probably shooting them in the ass as they're, you know, disappearing. But the goal really is just to kill as many hogs as possible. This is the first year they've gotten on our property, and uh, if we don't take care of them now, we're gonna be stuck with them forever. But uh, let's slap this mag in here and get on some ear protection and lay down some lead. My plan was, was to shoot the first pig in the head and then to go straight to the second pig. I got some steel targets down here, you know, they're about the size of a target of a pig, and we're at the same distance. And I'm talking about, I don't even come out here and practice this much, but this is such a sweet shooting rifle, it makes me look like a good shooter. I, I'm just saying. I'm gonna uh, shoot the first target, go to the second target, and then come back and double tap the other target. You ready? Let's see, see it. it. Oh my gosh, It's ridiculous. Dude. There is literally, like, look, hold on. There's no <laughs> recoil. It is so flat shooting. Oh my. Hold on, I gotta put another mag in it. <laughs> it I can get it to shoot faster than that. <laughs> Here, let's just, let's dump these real quick. I came a little low on it. It's weird, because of the muzzle brake, you don't come up with it, you will actually drive yourself down. Huh. You kind of got to get used to that. But super sick gun. Like I said, I got like $3,500 invested into it. And uh, if you were going to have one gun, this would probably be it. I mean, you could shoot a deer with it. I used to hunt, when I first started hunting, you know, I was four or five years old. And uh, I was shooting a 223 and a uh, ballistic tip. And you shoot them in the shoulders, they're going to drop. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Oh, I love it, you dude. You gotta love I it, dude. I love it. Hell oh, yeah. Such a sick That gun, is bro. dope, Thanks man. Thanks for letting me rip it course, five dude. times. So we had actually stopped by the pawn shop, and uh, Christian picked up a new pistol. I finally talked him into it. He went with something that I wasn't really too familiar with, but he seems to like it. Christian, what'd you get at the pawn shop? All right, guys. We got ourselves a Glock 26. Okay, oh, and it's a fifth yes. gen, so it's the brand new, um, you know, newest generation Glock, right? I actually got a plus two mag, and then I also got a 17 round mag as well. You know, just, just in case I need to pop off a few extra. Oh, of course, of I course. I mean, I guess we may as well go and throw it in. They're all loaded up. So, real quick, before you load that mag, the 26 is actually a 19, but with a stubby, stubby grip right here, but you get a grip extension, you can basically convert it into a 19. As you guys can tell, I'm not really, this is my first Glock. Braden's yeah, more of a Glock I've been, guy. I've been talking him into it he for so long me. now. See, I'm actually more of a SIG guy. That's what I've been running, but until last Yesterday, time Yesterday, when we took him out shooting. Yeah, no, I had to get rid of that thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead, pop in the mag, and let's, let's see, see what we can we hit anything. see how it feels. Have you ever even shot a Glock? I've never shot a Glock. You haven't shot one of mine? Uh-uh. Wow, I didn't take much convincing to make you switch, did I? Oh, yeah. Dang, okay. Ah, Hell, yeah. Dude, you got to shoot this I thing. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it. It shoots it. No pretty doubt. good. All right, Ren, let's see what you got. Is that it? <laughs> if I'm being honest, that was not counting in my head. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and load it up, and I want you to dump a mag on it. Yes, kind of got to sure. aim a little bit. <laughs> Front. Well guys, I think I got a uh, a hog hunt I got to get ready for tonight. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close off this video. We literally did a hunting video down at the deer club in August. Give this video a thumbs up. First time we've ever had hogs. First time I've ever killed a hog. And uh, I plan to kill a lot more in the following days. Uh, I'm going to watch the cell cams that we put out that Moultrie sent to us. I set those out. They'll be sending pictures to my phone. I'll get them patterned again, see if they the pattern has changed. I'm going to go in there and smack them. And it's going to be on video. And I'm telling you, it ain't just going to be shooting one pig like today. It's going to be pow, 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 pow. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, if you guys would hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if we get this video to 40,000 likes, we'll drop another hog hunting video. Uh, and we'll make it quick as possible and super sick. Guys, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you all on the next one. Yeah.